In the previous tutorial, I mentioned that we can use different ways of injecting our dependencies into services. We don't have to go through the service constructor. We can also call upon a set method to actually set our dependencies as the service is being instantiated. This is what we're going to be focusing on in today's tutorial. So let's go into PHP Storm and take a look at our admin validator. Now in the previous tutorial we injected this minimum password length into the constructor which is an integer and we're, we were using that here. But what happens if we want to inject something else, but perhaps we can't inject it through the constructor. Maybe we're using some sort of factory design pattern and we're calling upon a setter method. Factory de design patterns are something we're going to be focusing on later on in this course as well. Let's just go straight into the services.yml. We were passing that in as an argument. That is the parameter that we supplied the, the admin.min underscore password length setting that value to 10 that is how we were supplying that into our service uh, constructor but like i said what we need to do in this case is we need to go back into the admin validator and create ourselves a setting method so let's say for example we want to set a logging interface so we can actually log when a user supplies a a wrong uh, invalid password. So here we've got please have a better password. That's just going into the errors array, but we may wish to log that somewhere. We may wish to record when a, a user supplies an invalid password. So let's create our property. Let's go private and call that logger. This is going to be an instance of the uh, monolog logger like that like this and instead of putting it through the constructor that we would normally do we're actually going to create a setting method so public function and then set uh, logger like so we're going to supply an instance of logger and uh, the value of logger like so this is just going to set this uh, logger to be the variable of logger and then let's just return the current instance so let's save that let's now just put in some comments to make it a little bit more tidier so that is what we're supplying we need to have the logger now the beauty of using the setting methods means that you don't have to set them if you don't need to set them so be very cautious when you're using the class make sure that we actually have an instance of logger before we attempt to use it so anyway let's go now into the services.yml and see how we can inject that uh, dependency into this service. Beforehand, we were using the arguments here, and that was passing that into the constructor. But of course, what we need to do is call that set logger method. And what we use is the uh, section called calls. And that is an array of methods that we are calling. Now we need to supply the methods that we are calling. We do this within another array where the index is the name of the method that we wish to call. So in this case, it is just set, whoops, set logger like so. And of course, your method may have multiple arguments that are required. So for instance, not only are we setting the logger here, but we might also be supplying the level in which we wish to log things at or so forth. But let's just keep it nice and simple. Let's just set the logger. So we're going to put in a comma and then another array. And this array is going to be the arguments that we wish to supply. So in this case, we need to supply the service of the logger. So let's put in some um, some quotes like so. And inside those quotes, we need to have an at symbol because at symbols means that we are calling upon another service. And this service is just going to be logger like so. I haven't mentioned anything about the Symfony monolog logger before in these tutorials. So I'm going to keep it nice and light for this one. This is how we call a setter method to inject another dependency. Let's hit save now, go straight back into the admin validator, and now we can start to use 
this logger. So where we're saying this errors and we're setting another uh, part of the array to this value, what we can do, let's just copy that value like so, that string, create another message array. I'm just going to drag this out so you can see it a little bit, little bit better. And we're going to just set that to this value like so. Just remove those for now. We don't need those. And then put in a colon at the end. And then we can supply message to the errors array. We can also now do this logger and supply uh, what it is that we wish to log. Now, the logger does have multiple ways or multiple levels that you can log things at. I'm going to be focusing on this uh, later on in another course, perhaps. Right now, I'm just going to use info um, and we're going to supply the message which is like so. Now, of course, the logger also has different ways that we can supply the context of the logging information, but that's optional. We're just going to keep it like this for now. Let's hit save. Let's go back into the services.yml just to make sure we need to supply a minimum length of 10. Otherwise, we have an error. So let's go straight back into the default controller where we are calling set password. Let's remove that so we, we're only setting three. This should cause an error. Therefore, that should log that error to the log file. Let's hit save. So let's refresh the page. And as you can see, we have, uh, please have a better password. That is the message that we have just uh, caused. So in theory, we should have this in the log file. So let's go into the terminal this time. We've got, this is the, the server running on this tab. And in this terminal tab, what we do is just do tail. We're gonna do a minus F because we want to follow the log as well. The log file is an app and it's in logs. And I think the log file is dev.log. So let's press enter here. Now, this is a, a whole lot of gob gobbledygook, but you can see, uh, please have a better password. Please have a better password. That has been added to the log file. I'm just going to press a couple of spaces just to make some room. And then I'm going to go back to the browser and refresh the page again. And we should have some more output. So let's go back to the terminal. And you can see that we have a bunch of spaces here that I've just added, but now we have the please have a better password. So that is a very basic usage of the logging service in Symfony. Now, the advantages of using the setter method like this is that we don't have to use the setter method if we don't need to. So this dependency isn't necessarily required. Also, we can call the setter method in multiple times. So for example, if you're adding something to a collection of objects or collection of dependencies, that is very useful too. The disadvantage, of course, when injecting things through setter methods is that you cannot be sure that the setter method has been called. So if the setter method wasn't called and we ran that, we would have an error because the logger hasn't been injected into our service. Now, there is another way that we can inject our things into services, uh, such as using public methods. This is what I'm going to be focusing on in the next tutorial. But if you found this tutorial helpful, do give it a thumbs up. Do share it around to anyone else who may find it useful. And let me know if you've got any comments. Put your comments down in the comment section below. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding, everyone. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.